what we're going to look at now is a different type of looping structure. So what you should be quite familiar with at the moment is the concept of a while loop. So for instance, I can set with a while loop a variable x to be 1, and then say while x is less than 10, and then tell my program to do something. So print I love Python. And then if I change the value of x, this will loop round and keep going and keep going. So it'll keep printing I love Python until x finally reaches 10. That's it. So that's one type of loop, a while loop. There's another type of loop that we can use in Python is called a for loop. Like so. Now traditionally a for loop is used to count over a range of numbers. So a pretty standard way of using a for loop is like this. For i in range um, 0, 10 add my colon on the end and now I can just tell it to print i. Let's run that and see what happens. So I start off with i, this variable i being 0 and so it prints there and we keep going up until i reaches the number just before 10. So this counts from 0 to 9. But it will print out, as you can see, 10 numbers. Another way of using an I loop is to iterate over some sort of data structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place up here a string. So my string equals hello world. Now, what I'm going to do with my I loop now is say for i in range, I'm going to start off at 0, but I'm going to finish at whatever the length of the string is. So in this case, my string is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 characters long. So this is going to do something 0 up to 11. And rather than printing i now, I'm going to have it print out my string i. So that's going to print out the ith character of my string. Let's have a look at how that runs in. And as you can see, it's done exactly what we wanted. It's printed out each character on a new line. This is a fairly standard way of using a for loop in most programming languages. This idea of going for i in range and then giving it two values. Python, though, is a little bit different. I can skip most of this syntax in Python and instead, I can just iterate over the string directly. So I run this, and we'll get exactly the same result, except I need to put my I in parentheses. We get exactly the same result here printing out every single character in the string. I can do the same with lists. And so I can change this to my list instead and then run this. And I'll print out each value from the list. So a for loop is used to iterate over a range, so from one value up to another value, 
or in Python I can directly iterate straight over a string or over a list of values.